So debt worries in Korea. Um, in some ways, this article pulls together a lot of issues that we have talked about in some of our previous articles. Mm -hmm. Things mm -hmm. like rising interest rates, rising house prices, um, uh, increasing interest in investments, uh, Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies. Um, that have all been issues that many Koreans have been facing. And most of these things are contributing to people's debts. Um, I suppose some of them are people taking unnecessary risks, perhaps like the, the investment loans, but some of them are just small businesses trying to survive difficult times and having to take out debt just to, uh, or take out loans, uh, go into debt uh, just to survive in these hard times. And the, the worst thing about it is the effect on people's health, I guess, mm -hmm. through the increasing mm -hmm. levels of stress. Yeah. Um, uh, people would perhaps like to see uh, different types of uh, uh, government controls. Mm -hmm. Perhaps mm -hmm. the loan market is a bit too much of a free for all mm -hmm. and they would like to see the government rein mm -hmm. that in just a bit. Mm -hmm. um, but right now it's a quite bleak picture. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, people have had to resort to loans so often when it's, you know, their livelihood that's at stake. Mm -hmm. And that's difficult and terrible. But um, I mean, at least they do have the option so they don't have to starve to death or anything. Mm -hmm. But it is kicking that trouble can down the road. Mm -hmm. um, it's just going to be a future problem. And it could be a large future problem. But you're just gambling that you can take care of that problem in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, again, we've all had experience with this and everything. Um, but recently, there's been a trend, and we did talk about cryptocurrency. Just investments in general mm. have become a lot more popular. Mm -hmm. Like, do you think that this is a good way to make money? Like, why or why not? I definitely agree with you, John. Mm. I think... Again, because I, I love books, I love reading, <laughs> I'm always in Kyobo Bookstore mm -hmm. and I'm constantly looking around in the new book section. And I think maybe it was three to four years ago, there was a boom in these books on investments, stocks and shares mm -hmm. and how to read the markets and mm -hmm. just hundreds of different titles. Mm -hmm. You know, this whole new section of Kyobo sort of popped up in the space of a couple of months mm -hmm. and has become a sort of staple steady selling section. And I don't know how it started. How did this become trendy mm -hmm. in Korea for mm -hmm. people to start um, trading stocks and shares? But yeah, it's become a, a thing. Yeah. Uh, and I, I wish I knew why, but uh, it's, uh, yeah. it's big. It's states. big. And I, and I think, you know, you can definitely make really good money from stocks and you can lose a lot. Mm -hmm. It is always a gamble, but uh, if I were to take a stab at it, I would say Koreans started to invest because of that um, sort of idea that they might not be able to trust the government pension mm. that may be or may not be coming later. Mm -hmm. And they want to get a better life with more uh, economic freedom, with rising prices and interest. Mm -hmm. uh, investments just looked like a sweet deal because mm -hmm. they would see these news articles online. I want, you know, I invested one. <laughs> I invested this much money and I, you know, became financially independent. Um, and those types of stories look so good mm. for a potential investor. Mm -hmm. I suppose, yeah, tantalizing. I could, I can see why you said win because yeah. there is some element of gambling really yeah. to this that yeah. you've got to risk it and but you could win big the potential benefits are huge yeah. but if you start to lose again a bit like gambling it can be a downward spiral we just read a second ago uh, that housing prices are skyrocketing especially mm -hmm. in korea they've been on the rise for many many years like is it worth it nowadays i feel like now in Korea, the, right now in Korea feels like around the time when I was leaving England. Ah. We'd finally got to that point about 2008 where people of my generation, it seemed totally hopeless that we were ever going to be able to afford a house. Yeah. Um, even if you get married and sort of pool your finances with someone else and you've got decent jobs, you're still going to struggle to make the basic threshold mm -hmm. to get a mortgage even. And that's not buying a house outright. Um, and uh, now Korea, I think, is in exactly the same situation. Young people yeah. are feeling like, I'm never going to be able to own yeah. a home. But people sad. are buying now in UK? Honestly, <laughs> I'm a bit out of the yeah. loop with UK right now. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I imagine maybe mm. it's a bit better because I think the government mm. has introduced some schemes. Oh, yeah, my mm. one of my friends did buy um, a house through a government 
sort of like co-pay scheme. Mm. So the government kind of mm. owns half his house and he owns the other half. Mm. And I forget how it works, but yeah. he found it useful. Mm. Well, at least if he, he has a house and a roof over his head, mm. half of the government property is, um, I guess, worth it. Yes, I guess better than nothing, owning half a house yeah. rather than a whole house. Exactly. And hopefully that half is not including the TV and game <laughs> systems and stuff like that. <laughs> I guess, yeah, the government can't really come along and <laughs> cut off half the house, you know, if they want to reclaim. Ah. Do you believe it is worth it to try and buy a home right now? Ah, uh, yes. Um, personally, no. I think they're quite high. Of course, real estate is, is going to be a good investment if it's going to continue to rise, but it looks like we're going into recession and therefore mm -hmm. the prices are going to drop. It could take Korea five years for them to drop, could mm -hmm. take them closer to a decade, but... If you're buying a house, it's going to be a long-term investment, not mm -hmm. short-term. So maybe hold off and see if those prices drop first. Mm -hmm. Let's dig into the vocabulary we've met in this article. See you next time. Downward spiral. Downward spiral. Rain in. Rain in. Free for all. Free for all. Deep water. Deep water. Stark. Stark. Stark.